uh, you're known for a, a theory of motivation. Uh, what sort of factors are uh, come into play with that? Yes, I'm known for the expectancy value uh, theory, sometimes called the contemporary expectancy value theory of motivation. It's really based in a, a very classical um, approach to understanding human behavior that's character uh, that has been um, popular in economics and business, um, in education for long periods, you know, for the last couple of centuries. Um, and basically, uh, the theory um, hypothesizes that uh, people will do things if they think they can succeed at them. They're unlikely to do things if they're going to fail, if they think they're going to fail. And given that they think they can succeed, they will pick the things that are of the most value to them. And value is, turns out to be a very complicated notion uh, because what gives tasks value to individuals? Um, certainly the economists will talk about, well, money gives something value. So someone will do something because it's a way um, of earning an income and things that will earn you more income will be more valuable to you than things that earn less. But that's not the only, nor for many people, the most important. Um, others would be that activities uh, give you a chance to show the world who you are. Um, so uh, this was where it links most closely to what we would call identities. And um, if I think that I'm a kind person, then activities that allow me to be kind will have high value to me because that lets me uh, prove to myself that I'm kind, prove to others that I'm kind, and also sets off the reward firing mechanisms in my brain that I'm doing this thing that uh, I presumably care about. Um, so that would be another kind of value. Uh, doing the things that um, are linked to um, what your family wants for you or what you need to do for your children or for your community. Um, all of these are uh, influences on how valuable any given task would be. And of course, the, um, what, what people have to do is they have to pick which tasks they're going to take. They may not do this consciously, but they're of course doing it all the time. I'm sitting here with you now. Um, I made a decision to do that. I'm not going to get up and walk away. That's a, that's a choice. Even if it's, if it's a foregone conclusion, I didn't debate it once I said I was going to do it. I just am doing it. Um, but I, it, it is a choice, and I'm not doing a lot of other things as a consequence. So the value that I have for this task versus all of the other things that I could be doing um, is what's likely to um, control my behavior, influence my behavior. And this becomes even more important when you think about things like careers. I mean, mm -hmm. something that if you make a commitment to it, it's not just am I going to do this in, on Friday afternoon, but am I going to do this for the rest of my life? Um, if I'm going to marry this person, I mean, that's a commitment that requires much more uh, top-down decision-making, um, but it actually operates on these, on these same principles, that we do those things that have high value to us.